so boho welcome back to my channel and to a thursday night thrifting adventure i'm really excited about tonight i actually spent most of the day it's been a kind of dreary rainy day it's actually wednesday you'll be seeing this on thursday night but what a life right <laughs> wake up and start researching antiques now last week i finished up with some 50% off trips um, to the Volunteers of America and to the Discovery Shop. If you didn't see those, I'll attach Volunteers of America up here because, oh my gosh, the stuff I found there was amazing. But after those two trips, I went to the Chardon Goodwill. 45 minutes to an hour in, I was finding like mind-blowing things and getting a little overwhelmed. The quality, the age. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. So we're gonna start off with some stuff that I'm not even gonna like bother with the film part of it. I do wanna show you because they do have value, um, but then I'll really kind of put my attention and focus on the things that are just gonna be like, Psh, you got that at Goodwill? <laughs> Seriously guys, get out to your Goodwills, get out to your thrift shops, doesn't have to be Goodwill, but get out to those um, locally owned thrift shops if you have them. I wish I had more of those. Um, and find your treasures. You don't have to be a reseller. You can be a gifter or a collector or whatever. <laughs> you won't believe what I found today. This is gonna be one of my best hauls ever. All right, buckle up. Let's take a look at the stuff that I'm not gonna show you film for that I did pick up along the way. <clears throat> and I guarantee that when you see this stuff, you're gonna be like, that, if that's not the major haul, what is? So that's a good teaser, right? <laughs> First off, I picked up these two beautiful little boxes now i haven't even done research on these i don't think they're old but i have such a major appreciation for these that are built like old pantry boxes look at the detail on how they're made i got a green one and i got a pretty little yellow one like i said they definitely aren't old but they're constructed to look old and look at how beautiful they look together. Ah, oh, I love them. I paid $1.99 a piece for these. And that's amazing. Um, I'm going to put on screen because I really haven't looked these up. I guarantee somebody's going to want both of them. And, you know, it's not hoarding if it fits in a box, according to a lot of other YouTubers. <laughs> so imagine all the pretty things you could put in here. Next, and this is for me, I found this great Pampered Chef four cup measuring cup. Could be mixing, could be like a batter bowl. It's nice and big, super quality, very heavy. This piece should have a cap on it. Without the cap, the value of it's probably between, probably right around $15. With the lid, 20. And if you find these new in the box, they'll go anywhere from like 30 to 40 bucks. This one's for me, so I paid $2.29. And that's amazing. I hit the ceramics and I find some blue sky. I found not only one, but two pieces of blue sky. This one is a little tea light holder. It says bundle up on it. And then this one looks like a little, almost like a little pitcher or creamer, but it's shaped like a cottage. How cute, it has little cherries hanging off of here. <laughs> This one I paid $2.29. This one I paid $3.39. I take that back. This is why I picked them up. Blue was half off. So I paid half of those two prices and that's why I'm like, oh, I gotta take those two. <laughs> Every single time I get a blue sky and I list it, it sells and it sells pretty quick. Then there was this little guy and he is designed by George Good, which I've run into before. And so I know that George Good stuff tends to sell well. I paid 99 cents. I mean, how do you pass that up, right? I'll show you some comps. He was a neat little find. You know I love my bags of stuff. If you watch a channel, when I find a bag of stuff, it's like, ooh, what's in there, what's in there? Oh my gosh. This was an incredible little bag of stuff. It was priced $2.29 and I could see these little critters in it. Wait until you see this. The first one is just a tiny little, looks like a hobbyist piece. It's a bunny. Look at that. He has a little chipped foot, but 
That just means they'll probably have to go into my decor. I have this thing about light critters with big black eyeballs. Then some Odagiri little figurines. So these guys are like a set of little quails. Look at how cute. They're Odagiri. Um, these just say made in Japan on them, but I have found these in research and I do believe they are Odagiri. And I believe that because there's another piece in here that's Odagiri. And it's this little rabbit. Look at this little brown guy. Now he still has his Odagiri sticker on him. You will either see Odagiri written out or these gold foil stickers. They say OMC and that's also Odagiri. But isn't he cool? And look, he has a very similar texture to these guys. So that was a little bit of a hint for me to maybe look for Odagiri when it came to these quails. And then finally, also in this bag, was this little gobel kitten. Look at him. Now these came in a set of three and they've all got, they're dealing with some sort of ladybug issue. <laughs> but this guy, I mean, I don't even know, how is he doing that with his leg? He's very flexible, but he still has his gobel sticker on him. And if you can find the three set, it looks like they go for like good money, $40 and up. Now I've seen two of these out of the three also sell for 40, but the singles may be between 15 and $20 a piece. But just this guy alone, if I sold him for 15, I paid 2.29 for the bag. And look at all of these things. That was an awesome find. Another thing that I found are these amazing learn how to draw books. I wish I would have had all of these as a kid. And this is how I learned to draw. I mean, I had good art teachers, but I really, really loved the simplicity of learning how to draw from Walter Foster. So these are Walter Foster books. I think two of these are. And some of these go all the way back to like the 19... 40s I think maybe earlier I'm not sure but they really taught me you know the basics of how to draw and I would just echo like copy these things and get a feel for you know structures and especially I had a human one like a body one and I remember all of the like you know like the eyes are pretty much in the middle of your skull and that things line up weird like your pupils line up with the outside of your mouth and your nose lines up with the inside of your eye weird stuff like that i used to love that and this one animated cartoons this is also a walter foster walter t foster see and these are like old timey cool cartoons super fun these sell well, and I'm sure I'm sharing that information here as I'm going through these. And then the last one is drawing animals, the art of drawing animals. And this one is put out by the Grumbacher Library. And I found this one too, it sold recently, but ooh, look at this elephant. They are so awesome. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell these individually, if I'm gonna sell them in a lot, if I'm gonna sell the Walter Foster one separately and this one on its own. I'm not sure. If I start my own library. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's go shopping. This aisle is what my mom and I call the messy aisle. <laughs> It has all the craft stuff and just an avalanche of things. And I was just kind of pointing out there, I found some command hooks and some things. I won't get into those, but man, find those out thrifting because those are expensive in the hardware store. So I'm just kind of digging through here. And I found these. A 
another one of those things in bags. <laughs> These are beautiful. They are Pier 1 copper and glass napkin rings. And look at how beautiful. There's like an iridescence on this glass and they're set in here so that they actually will like swivel. But they're gorgeous. So the outside is like a fused glass and then there's these beads with these wires. Oh my gosh, they're absolutely phenomenal. There are six of them in here. I paid $2.29, which is amazing. I will show you what some are listed for. I don't know if I have found any sold comps on these yet, but they're stunning and I think that they will go to the shop because somebody who sees them is going to want them. <laughs> it's one of those things that whether they're searching for it or not, if I ran into these, they would definitely capture my attention. Now, whenever I say something's going to the shop, if you're a viewer, these, as I'm showing you these things, I'm literally a day or, or a couple of days away from, you know, putting them on eBay or taking them to the shop. Um, sometimes they might hit eBay that same day, but catch me, if you are somebody who makes, you know, beautiful tablescapes and you need these for your table, um, hit me up, especially if you hear me say something's going to the shop because I'm probably going to hold on to it until at least the following weekend. And, you know, so they're in my possession and you can say, hey, I need those and we can, you know, communicate over email. Here's my email right here <laughs> um, and we'll get them to you this messy area and I noticed up here some kites and this one looks really cool it's a dragon I just noticed as I was pulling this out that this is a Melissa and Doug kite I know that that's a target brand so it might be a little bit more quality than I originally thought I will check it out and show you here what it's worth if I can find it but we've been talking about putting a kite in the camper for a long time because oftentimes when we're out camping, we get some wind and we always joke like, where's our kite? So I got this dragon kite to put in the camper. Now we're in the wood section and I love me some wood section. I find the greatest things I feel in the wood section, wood, metal, ceramics, I guess all the sections. <laughs> that wasn't that old of a rolling pin, but I do like to find those. Then I was curious what this thing was. Um, I was trying to kind of tug on it to pull it out, but when I got around to this other side, I could see that it was a handmade um, stables, like a nativity crush. So much stuff loaded in these shelves, but I could not miss this piece. Look at this guy. This is incredible. It has such great age, and I love the fact that it has this old paint on it that it's being worn off in areas. It's split on the bottom because wood does that when it ages. So you get things like this that happen. But look at the wood on the bottom. And look at those nails. You see those nails? They're funky, right? They're not perfect little circles. Some of them are square. Look at this one right here. Those are like made by hand. And that's phenomenal. They're all different and wonky and beautiful. And this is a nice old piece. I have seen some of these without these, you know, dividers here. They're calling them utensil caddies. They're just kind of open on both sides. I love that this one is kind of decorative, that it has these beautiful, you know, this one's not even symmetrical. I love it. And I think this is probably an $80 to $100 piece. And that's crazy, right? But let me show you what I'm seeing on eBay. This is a great find. Still in the wood area. Found this funky wooden rabbit. He was a little weird. And I looked up here and I saw this piece. And I love this piece. 
This is definitely very nicely carved and polished. It's it is stunning. I mean, look at the look at the wood in that. There's some things in here that I have to clean up a little bit, but look at the carving even on the back. It's gorgeous. I paid $3.39 for this. I have not found one just like this. I found some similar, um, but I have not yet located this one. Um, yeah, I might list it, but I'm probably gonna list it in the 20 to $30 range. It's just absolutely beautiful. You guessed it, we're still in the wood area. <laughs> and I spotted this gorgeous shelf, but I say gorgeous in its shape, its condition was horrible. Look at that. Ugh. Love the carving. But because I picked that up, I discovered this piece. It looks primitive too. But then I flip it over and I see this sticker and I realize it's not primitive at all. But I got it anyhow. Now, this is funny because this piece that looks old has a great primitive look. Look at how wonky it looks. And look at the inside, how wonky that looks. Is actually a Pottery Barn piece and has this modern sticker on the back. It says this item will naturally rust and patina over time. It's made in India for Pottery Barn, San Francisco. I love the look of this. I think it's really, really cool. I And it's heavy. I think it's probably worth some money. I have not yet found this piece, but they do have kind of like a reclaimed line and a primitive line. And yeah, you know, Pottery Barn, it's expensive. I'm gonna have a hard time giving this up. I love the color of this wood and I love that it's wonky and I know it's not old, but I could see it sitting somewhere as like a, you know, a shelf for things. And then whoop, Little, little tucked away hideaways. It just kind of matches my aesthetic, as you can tell. <laughs> I did not capture when I first saw this clock, but I sent this back. It did not have a price on it. And one of the girls who was moving stuff and bringing stuff out, um, you know, took it for me and um, got it priced so as I was looking at this piece still that showed back up and I don't know if you saw that price but oh it came home with me too what I mean what <laughs> right up in here it says 1879 and on this piece right here it's patented 1881 so I'm guessing the clock is from 1881-ish. It's absolutely stunning. Now, I say stunning because I love old and worn. I think the piece would look beautiful just as is. It is beautiful just as is. It's flawed. It's missing part of its face. All the painted glass is almost gone. You just see a little bit there. It has issues, but don't we all? <laughs> I mean, I just relate to this old guy and I love the wood. It has this East Lake kind of cut out vibe. It's actually got a label on the back that tells me exactly what it is. It is made by the New Haven Clock Company and this is called the Tigress. Now I think this would make an amazing project clock for somebody who restores these. I don't know if somebody's out there looking for this, um, but I might try and, maybe I'll try and uh, hook up with some Facebook groups and see if anybody you know is out there who would be able to tackle this. This is one of those things that I just don't know enough about, um, but for $4.49, I couldn't walk away from it. <laughs> Could you? Could you have walked away from this? See, look at that. It looks pretty amazing. <laughs> just the way it is. That's what I have to tell myself all the time. You look pretty amazing just the way you are. 
All of us should say that every day. It's easier said than, than actually felt, right? All right, we have moved on to the metals. And I have to warn you, I think I captured a couple of things here um, that I purchased, and this is one of them. And I couldn't believe that I put two and two together here. Let me show you this in person. Oh my gosh. For as tired as my brain was to find this piece and to look over then and notice this and think, oh, I think those go together. Um, I was like, okay, I'm still with it. <laughs> look at how gorgeous this is. Now this, I will show you a picture. This holds an oil lamp with kind of a shorter base, all glass, you know, oil in it and then a globe. This is Victorian Air. Um, it is made by, I think, Wilton. I think I've seen it listed. I can't confirm that because I'm not seeing Wilton on this piece anywhere. I am seeing numbers 708 on the hinge part, but that's it. I'm not seeing Wilton. But look at how gorgeous that is. The last one that sold of this exact type, I will share with you. It's sold for a little bit more than a lot of these sell for, so I'm not quite sure why. Now this one does have a little bit of um, rust happening in here, and that's easily taken care of because these can be coated and even just painted um, to really brighten them up. I paid $5.69 for this. I was happy about that. I imagine, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably list this. I imagine I'll list it for somewhere around what the other one sold for. Um, although there is some rust happening here, I probably won't get that. I'll probably get closer to maybe 30. Can you imagine going to a Goodwill and finding something like this? That's, that's the kind of day I had. It was crazy. We're still in the metal section and I was seeing quite a few brass things. This piece was beautiful, but it wasn't brass. It was painted something I don't remember but there were some great brass candlesticks including this which I'm going to show you here in a second and then three things that I found outside of recording because I was tired and yeah we'll wrap this up also in that metal section was another bag of goodies oh, I was so excited to see these there was some really nice brass candlesticks but these I just love this is a complete set of candle holders that was really cool there are seven in here and this is what they look like look at the condition of this it's almost like new these have been cared for and probably stored away they are made in Taiwan they're marked interper and I have a whole set of seven and these will be really hard to let go of but I will I will. Somebody boho like me will just love to have all of these at different heights on a mantle or a shelf and oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. I paid $4.49 for these. That's crazy. I'll show you what they're going for. This was an amazing find. Are you freaking out yet? Because honestly, I was completely overwhelmed. I was there by myself. I wish my mom had come with me because I was having like, like moments where I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. This one I'm a little bummed, but a little excited about. I can't, I can't make up my mind. Wait till you see it. You're gonna be like, oh my God, that's beautiful. It's huge. It's like 10 and a half inches. It's got this beautiful cameo pattern on it. It's milk glass. Still really dirty on the inside, but it's milk glass. It's not meant to be this color. Look at this. 
Somebody did a treatment on it where they put some silver and they put gold on top of that to make it look like this aged metal. It's a really cool look. Like I really dig the look. There's some areas here where it's coming off a little bit, but it's not meant to look like this. This is a Fostoria and the pattern is like Cameo. I will share with you. These bigger boxes are money, like 50 to $60. But in this condition with this gold on them, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I could get for it. I'm half tempted to do some research and try and strip it down, but personally, I love the way it looks. <laughs> so I don't know. I paid $3.39 for it. And that was awesome. It is so heavy. I wish you could feel it. It's like, I bet, I bet it weighs at least two and a half or three pounds. It's like, it's weighty. Super cool though. When I saw it, I was like, what? <laughs> also in the metals, I found this. This is a Wilton Brass Match Safe. It's phenomenal. Like you put your matches in there. It's pretty awesome, right? It just has underneath the sticker here. I paid $4.49 for it. And just has Wilton. And then right at the bottom here, the number five. Super heavy, quality brass, stunning. And I'll share with you, of course, what these are going for. This is a piece, again, <laughs> I was shocked to find and would love to have in my home. But that's, that is the kind of the, the curse and the blessing of being a reseller. Like I can hold on to some of these things. I can try them on for size. And if I find a place that just makes sense and fits in my life, then I can keep them. I can let them go. I can sell them. I can sell something else that, you know, this might replace. <laughs> See how that works? It's sometimes difficult. <laughs> Finally, on my way out, <laughs> and I was done. Like, stick a fork in me, I was done. I looked on the shelf as I was rounding the corner to go to the cashier, right? And I see this one more piece. It's bronze. It's heavy. It has this cool kind of stylistic, I want to say art deco, but I've seen some like this kind of rearing up where it's flatter and there's some like more of a ornamental kind of sweep here that's really art deco. I don't know. There's no signature on here that I have found yet. It's just really cool. It's really, really cool. $3.39 for a bronze horse bookend. <laughs> it was that kind of day. <laughs> I was like, I have to leave right now. My mind was just blown. I couldn't believe what I had found just all together. Like, like, did I hit my treasure quota for the year in this one day? <laughs> because if you go back and you look and see what I got, especially at the Volunteers of America that morning, that's how I started my morning. And this is how I ended my day. And I was just <laughs> spent and happy and amazed and lucky and thrilled and... I could probably come up with a, a hundred other words for how I felt. Just like, just amazed. All right, everybody. That was the day. I have been really lucky and have been finding some amazing things. In fact, next week is going to be really cool too. I only found one thing at the one shop that I will show you. But I'm going to do a little bit of uh, showing you Pima Tuning Lake, which is a fun place to go. I'm also going to share with you the flea market that I kind of teased you about last week. And I found some really cool stuff there. 
So thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I am so lucky to have a growing audience of people who are like, like me and appreciate cool old things. Keep the comments coming. I love to hear from you and communicate with you. Hit that little like button if you can and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm seeing that I have a big portion of audience that are watching and not subscribing. That's confusing because if you subscribe and hit that alarm button, you'll know when I have a new video up. And I do that a couple of times a week and sometimes even on the weekends. And then finally, share. Share the video out so everybody can see the cool stuff that we're finding and talking about and can learn about all this stuff like we're learning together. All right, take care. I will see you all next week, Tuesday. All right, have a good week.